The news day continues here on One News Now. I'm Charles Lejano. The Agriculture Department inspected markets on Tuesday following reports of price hikes in some agricultural goods. Shaila Francisco is now on the line from Commonwealth Market to give us the latest on this. Shaila, good, after, uh, good morning rather. Uh, could you tell us which specific commodities are more expensive now? Charles, prices of pork, fish, and chicken have gone up by 10 to 40 pesos here in Commonwealth Market. And retailers are concerned this trend will continue. Galunggong is 40 pesos higher due to limited supply. Pork prices mean wild lime 20 pesos and is now at 320 pesos per liempo and 260 per kasi. Chicken is now at 140 pesos per kilo from 130 last week. Pork and chicken retailers say fuel price hike may have been a factor for the price increase in commodities. This as they explain that they are now getting supply from farther areas due to limited supply in the zone. But based on the inspection of the agriculture department, it's actually higher farm gate prices that are pushing prices higher. The agency says the fuel price due to transport costs increase is minimal and can be absorbed by retailers. But with higher farm gate prices due to more expensive production costs, prices are already higher starting from the sources. Higher prices were also noted in feeds and biologics. Charles, the DA is now studying imposing suggested retail prices for agricultural inputs to prevent further increase in prices, especially during the holiday. For now, they are looking into providing subsidies in the form of feeds and biologics for hog and poultry raisers. Charles? Thanks for that, Shaila. That was Shaila Francisco reporting live from Commonwealth Market in Quezon City. The rift between PhilHealth and the country's private hospitals is deepening. Despite several settlement meetings and hearings, Private Hospitals Association says PhilHealth still hasn't delivered reimbursements for caseloads dating back to 2020. Because of this, Association President Jose René de Grano told Radio Cinco that more and more of their members are looking to cut ties with the state insurer. Kasi po ang hinihingi nila, talagang uh, yung pong pagkakautang na yun mm. ay uh, babayaran supposedly before the end of October. Opo. Ngayon po, doon sa mga pag-uusap nila, parang walang nangyayari. Mm. So sabi nila, well, ituloy natin yung laban. Karamihan dito ay noong pang 2020. Mm -hmm. so, yung pong mm -hmm. mga COVID cases, mga mm -hmm. hindi nila noong pang year na 2020 na hindi na noong pa nila hinihingi. Kasi napakalaki pong amount noon na to the point na talagang matilay po ang kanilang inspirasyon. The global COVID-19 death toll has surpassed the 5 million mark as the world continues to roll out the biggest vaccination program in history. Some 7 billion shots have been administered across the globe in an effort that has helped to slow the pace of deaths. Let's get more details from Bloomberg Quick Take.
the shift from Facebook to Meta entails more than just a name change. Bloomberg's Alex Webb explains what it takes for the ambitious metaverse to be a success. There's a pretty good chance that you use products made by Meta every single day. If you've never heard of Meta, that's because it's the new name for Facebook Inc., the parent company of Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp. All right, perfect. In a spiffy presentation on Thursday, Mark Zuckerberg showed off his vision for what he's dubbing the metaverse. That's a sort of mix of augmented and virtual reality worlds which will let the user explore virtual ecosystems. Much of what he showed isn't yet available. It's really his vision. In that sense, it was more like the sort of presentation Elon Musk does, where he looks at what he hopes might happen one day than what Steve Jobs does, which or Steve Jobs did, which is showing off products he already has available. He also, in the course of it, announced a name to, to Meta. The company will be called Meta from now on. Our mission remains the same. It's still about bringing people together. That's a, an effort partly to show the, the vision for the future, but also a way of casting adrift some of the toxicity associated with Facebook. But if this new company is going to be a success, or the new company vision is going to be a success, he will still have to deal with a lot of the same challenges that Facebook has faced. Concerns about privacy, content management, those are going to be just as pertinent, if not more so, in the metaverse as they are right now on Facebook's existing apps. Olonga City is slowly regaining popularity among tourists with its eased travel restrictions. No swab tests will be required for entry into major establishments for as long as visitors are fully vaccinated. Laila Pangilinan tells us more. People from all over flocked the long coastline of Olongapo City and Zambales this All Saints Day, while cemeteries remained closed until today, November 2. Instead of meeting in the cemetery, Boyet and his relatives are among those having a family reunion at the beach. Usually, po sa Pangasinan, every November 1, sarado ang cementerio, dito na lang namin naisipan. Children are also welcome to play with the inflatables or take a dip in the beach. Some parents say this brief respite will do a lot of good for their kids' mental health. Siyempre yung mental, ano niya eh, sobrang ano eh, online classes and everything. So maganda yung nakalabas talaga, yung nakapag-beach, yung therapeutic salt water. But the resort manager stresses that it's better to bring kids along from Monday to Thursday. We highly recommend weekdays, pero ngayon lang po kasi yung available yung mga parents ng mga children, so inaalaw na po namin. The resort operates up to 50% of its capacity since Olongapo is under MGCQ. To ensure that minimum health protocols are being observed, marshals with signboards roam the coastline to remind visitors of physical distancing. And instead of a negative RT-PCR test result, the resort requires that all their guests are fully vaccinated. Also, we have safety protocols po. Merong kami contact tracing, health declaration po, wearing of face mask and face shield. Whole family po are welcome to come na po and visit. This may also be one of the reasons why Olonga po is one of the top choices for those longing for vitamin C. Batangas bataan, pero doon mahigpet kasi sila nagre-require talaga sila ng swab uh, test. Dito wala. Better na dito kasi vaccination card ng okay na. Hotels in Nalongapo and Subic were also in demand this long weekend. The same policy applies. No vaccine card that says you are fully vaxxed, no check-in. Our uh, guests are uh, majority coming from Central Luzon. Maybe 40% of them are from Metro Manila and 60% are from Central Luzon. But on the guest rooms, it's limited to 50%. Yes, we still follow the 50% occupancy. Families feel at ease knowing that everyone checked in and enjoying the long weekend at the beach are fully vaccinated. This for them ensures the safety of their children. Hindi naman talaga natin malalaman sino ang COVID positive, pero at least if you have vaccination card, somehow nage-exercise ng safety protocols ang resort, pero ang kaming comfort and safety sa pupuntahan naming itinerary. And being fully vaccinated does have its perks. Advantage din yung vaccinated ka kasi the same time parang kung nagpa-follow lang din tayo sa ibang bansa, kagaya sa United States na parang darating yung time magiging mandatory din talaga siya. So kung panawagan ko sa lahat kung kaya niyo magpa-vaccine, magpa-vaccine na kayo. 
For News 5, Laila Pangilinan, We Are One News. Here's a quick look at some of today's headlines. LPG prices saw another hike for the sixth time since June, while gasoline prices are up for the 10th straight week. The country's outstanding debt climbs to a new high of 11.91 trillion pesos. But Ibon Foundation says the fresh set of borrowings didn't really go to pandemic response. And one in four Filipinos are now fully vaccinated against COVID-19. But experts warn against the waning immunity among fully vaccinated individuals after six months. And those are the top stories at this hour. Join us later at 2 p.m. as we continue to monitor the day's biggest stories. You can also catch One News on SignalPlay. Just register for a free account at www.signalplay.com so you can stream One News live anytime, anywhere. I'm Charles Lejano. Mask on, wash hands, and stay safe, Philippines. We are One News.